Hello everyone. Here we are to solve the grade 8 national examinations of past paper. Particularly this paper is from the current year. And this is one region grade 8 national exam. Uh, for today, the first question here. It says the highest common factor of these two expression. First of all, observe the number 36 is the same as, you know, 9 times 4 and 64 can be expressed as 16 times 4. There will be common in both 4. 4 will be as a common can be taken out. And then observe the the other, the variable expression, which is x cubed plus x squared. It can be written as x squared times x plus x squared times 1. You know, in x cubed, there is x squared. And x squared by itself is, you know, x squared times 1. Just to factorize. Now, extract x squared as a common. When you take out x squared common, what left? Uh, x plus 1 left. You know, x squared, x squared when it comes out, uh, x plus 1 left. How this one comes, that might be a question for some of you. Because, you know, uh, if you have a number 2, for example, this is the same as 2 times 1. You can write it. So, uh, keep that in your mind. Why the objective to write in this manner? To, to take out common for the other one. And the second expression, it says uh, x squared in bracket x plus 1 the whole square. It can be written as x squared times x plus 1 times x plus 1. You know x plus one the whole square this is the same as x plus one times x plus one we can write it in this way still why what is the objective of writing in this way because uh to clearly observe the common look now try to see this one the first expression and try to observe this one the second expression now for these two expressions there is a common x square already the number uh, the number the common number is already we said four so now we are trying to extract what is the highest common factor the first one is four already from the number and x square also exists in both so it will be taken and x plus one x plus one exists in both and the second one even it contain x plus one twice but we'll take one of it because the common we are trying to take out common so this will be the highest common factor but when you try to see the, uh, the choice there is no uh, this kind of expression it, it looks the b looks but it is a square here, x plus 1 over square. But our, but our expression doesn't contain that one. So the variable should multiply each of them. And then let us see the other choice. When you do that one, 4 keep outside. And x squared times x, you know, it will be x cubed. And x squared times 1 will be plus x squared. This expression in, is found in A. So the answer will be A. This one is somehow uh, challenging. What makes it challenging? After extracting, after all the long process, uh, immediately you will not get the answer okay you need to rearrange again further rearrangement is need the next question uh, it says which one of the following is not equal to is not remember look over in this one somehow big it says is not so you need to multiply first 2xy will multiply each of them so 2xy times x will be uh, 2x square y because x times x you know x square and the y remains and 2xy times xy will be 2x square y square again negative y square will multiply each of them negative y square times x will be negative xy square or negative y square x it doesn't matter and negative y square times again this will multiply the other one it will be negative xy cube which choice contain the first one correct again uh, can x be a common for each of them? Yes, there is, x, there is x in each. So take out x common. When you take out x common, let's use another color because uh, the first one is already an answer for the, uh, in the first, I mean, the same as the first choice A. When I take out x common, what left here? 2xy left. It was a square here. It will be 1x only. It remains plus. In the second, again, 2xy square left. You see, x is taken out. Minus here, what left? Just y square left. At last, y cube left. So this one again, it found uh, it is found in B, and the next one. Let's use another color. Uh, can x square y be uh, common for each of them? No, because x square cannot be common for each. The reason, look, there is x square here, there is x square here, but there is no x square here, as you see. There is no x square. Here. It doesn't work. So the C fails, but the D it works. X y can be common for each. Take out x y common. When you take out xy common, what left in the first one? Okay, xy taken out, let's say. What left here? Just to x left. Because xy left, 1x and 1y taken out. The 1y taken out, no y left, and 1x remains, and the 2 remains. Plus, in the first term, in the second term, the 2 remains, and 1xy left. Because xy is squared here. Minus, in the third one, what left? Just y left. And at last, 
it is only y square left so this it is the same as d this one also somehow challenging okay let's continue to the next question so the answer will be c anyways okay the next question it says adding uh, adding 4 to a number okay let the number be x or a or b let's say it be mostly x is used adding 4 to a number means 4 plus b gives the same result means is equal to uh, subtracting 5 from 3 times a number subtracting 5 from 3 times a number means 3 times a number minus 5 they are the same this is what uh, the question says first of all uh, this kind of word problem it needs uh, real reading you need to read it uh, properly and you need to interpret it so adding a number add, i mean adding 4 to a number means 4 plus b if the number b if the number x you know 4 plus x gives the same result as subtracting 5 from 3 times the number subtracting 5 from where 3 times the number so that 3 times b minus 5 then the next will be uh, easy reshuffle shift the b to the right side and bring the 5 to the left side so 4 plus 5 because the 5 when it comes it will be plus is equal to 3b minus b 4 plus 5 will be 9 which is equal to 2b then divide both sides by 2 therefore what will be the b value 9 over 2 is the same as 9 over 2 or when you divide it will be 4.5 so the answer is found in b the next question uh, it is yeah linear equation it is 7 minus let's write it 7 minus 3 in bracket 2x plus 1 is equal to x minus 5 the whole over 2 multiply each of them by 2 this is like one term this is also the whole one term this one so well like one term because product so when you multiply by 2 how does it looks let's do it to remove the bracket the denominator this also multiply by 2 the whole thing here also this thing multiply by 2 the first one so 2 times 7 will be 14 minus 2 times 3 will be 6 in bracket 2x plus 1 once you multiply by 2 the coefficient here uh, no need to multiply each of them after that you will distribute is equal to here the 2 cancelled and x minus 5 remains now no fraction so remove the bracket now 14 minus multiply 12x and again multiply minus 6 is equal to x minus 5 then uh, finish it here 14 minus 6 will be 8 minus 12x uh, is equal to x minus 5 therefore reshuffle now shift the 12x to the right side and bring the 5 here so when you bring it 8 plus 5 is equal to uh, x plus 12x 8 plus 5 will be 13 is equal to 13x then divide by 13 both sides so what will be the value of x just one so where is the answer in c very good let's continue the next one the next one which one of the following uh, inequality is not equal to 2x minus 1 less than 4? 2x minus 1 less than 4. Okay, uh, so this one also, it is somehow time taking. You need to take care. It says which one of the following is not equal to 2x minus 1 less than 4? What to do? Uh, you, need, you can do this one and see the solution of this. And then you need to do each of them and check which one uh, the solution set of this has to be equal to the rest otherwise the one which is not equal will be fails otherwise you can do it like uh, by observation look here minus one this one plus one what happened if you add two here also you can add two here to the right side also what will happen it will be the same 2x minus 1 is less than 4 it says what if i add both sides too because this 4 already becomes 6 as you see so what if I add to here? I have to add to the right side or to the left side also. Then it has to be equal. So 2x, negative 1 plus 2 will be just plus 1. is less than 6. It comes the same as a. So a and the given uh, inequality the same. Otherwise, if you don't like this way, what to do simply, uh, most common ways of students, uh, what they are going to do, first of all, they will solve this one as it is. So 2x minus 1 is less than 4. So shift the 1 x is less than when you shift it it will be 4 plus 1 which is 5 then divide both sides by 2 x less than 5 over 2 this is the answer of uh, the given inequality what about the a solve each of them 2x plus 1 uh, is less than 6 shift the 1 to the other side 2x is less than 5 because it will be subtracted then divide both sides by 2 
x less than 5 over 2 it is the same so this one works which one is not it says again c if you want to check c negative x uh, plus 1 over 2 is greater than negative 2 it says so multiply by 2 each of them negative 2x plus 1 is greater than negative 4 when you multiply by 2 it will be negative 2x this one 2 removes uh, negative 2 times 2 will be negative 4 then the 1 shifted and subtracted so negative 2x is greater than negative 5 how comes negative 5 this one it goes in minus 1 okay when you shift it to be minus 1 so negative 4 minus 1 will be negative 5 then divide both sides by negative 2 when you divide the inequality change so x less than 5 over 2 still the same it works the uh, the c choice also correct what about the b the b it says 3 x 3 in bracket x plus 1 uh, less than x plus 8 do it again remove the bracket 3x plus 3 is less than x plus 8 okay uh, again reshuffle bring the x to the left side and the 3 to the other side it will be 3x minus x is less than 8 minus 3 and 3x minus x will be 2x is less than 5 divide both sides by 2 okay let's write this one again less than 5 when you divide both sides by 2 still x less than 5 over 2 comes still this one works so a correct c correct b is also correct which one is not d you can check it if you multiply by two and reshuffle it doesn't give you the same result so this is the way most of the students are doing otherwise uh, by an inspection method you can check you can add to both sides for example here as i said if you add two it will give you the same result like a and the next one you can divide by negative to each of them by negative two by negative two by negative two if you divide it will give you this result and the next also by an inspection method you can uh, cross check very good somehow challenging relative to the previous years this year uh, is somehow challenging but this one is easier now which one of the following point in the third quadrant remember there are four quadrants in my previous video i already explained first quadrant is here this is x-axis y-axis in the xy coordinate plane there are four quadrants the first quadrant is here this time it is both positive the x the first order and the second order and the second quadrant is found here when we are rotating in the counterclockwise direction no in clockwise direction yeah this one is clockwise uh, this direction is counterclockwise or anti-clockwise direction we can say it so the second quad, uh, quadrant is found here so in this time it will be the x negative the y uh, positive third quadrant it's here in the third quadrant both the x and the y are negative both minus minus and in the fourth quadrant here is the fourth quadrant it will be positive negative so we are asked third quadrant which one is which one is we need to find both negative it's found in a the next question which one of the following pair of figures may not be similar always similar remember equilateral triangle any two equilateral triangles always similar any two squares also always similar any two circles also okay but it says which one is not the not take care so d it's obviously correct two triangle with corresponding sides are proportional this is also correct because already mentioned two triangles to be similar corresponding sides must be proportional uh, by side 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 it can be similar true a is also true two triangles with corresponding angles equal yes if two triangles the corresponding angles are equal means by angle angle theorem they will be similar still but see any two rectangles we don't know about two rectangles we cannot say uh, generally they are similar there must be some precondition given so the answer will be c c is not correct we cannot say always two uh, rectangles are always similar no we can't conclude the next way the next question it says the cost of one pen and three exercise book remember the pen you can uh, say it p and the exercise book you can say it p so one pen and three exercise book that means p plus three b the p means one pen it's just p plus because one pen price if it is p okay three exercise book i have to multiply three times b. together they will give us how many 82 it says the cost of one pen and three exercise book is 82 if the pen costs 16 per that means the p value is given to you 16. Uh, no, 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 it doesn't say like that. We need to read properly. It says, if the pen costs 16 per less than the exercise book. That means, uh, that means the pen price, yeah, that means the pen price is the same as 
the exercise book price if it is b minus 60 this is the main point you need to interpret what does it say if the pain costs 16 less than the exercise book the exercise book price already b remember the first point the p means pain price okay the b means the exercise book price that is our allotment we already allot the p pen price and the b the exercise book price so one pen means p plus three exercise book mean three b together 82 given the other given condition what does it say if the pen cost 16 per less than the exercise book if you buy the exercise book for example uh, 20 if the exercise book price if it is 20 let's say simply now the pain price will be how much? 16 less than this 20. So that means 20 minus 16, which will be 4. That's the way. This one is like simply uh, randomly I took the number. But anyways, this is a formula. The pain price is equal to the exercise book price minus 16. Then the price of the pain. We are asked the pain price. So we can substitute this one in place of P here. So B minus 16 plus 3B is equal to 82. First of all, we can get the b here what did i do now in place of p i substitute uh, p means b minus 16 already therefore b plus 3b will be 4b is equal to 16 it can be shifted to the other side and it will be added it will be 98 uh, then divide by 4 both side so the price of the exercise book the b value will be divide 98 by 4 it will be uh, 24.5 this is the exercise book price so what will be the pain we are not asking the exercise book the pain price is b or minus 16 b minus 16 which is 24.5 minus 16 when you subtract it will be 8.5 that is the price of the pain so the answer is found in c very good this question also it need really uh, focus concentration and interpretation the next question inequality 3 minus x is less than 2x minus 3 so what to do this one is just really reshuffling collect the x value to the left side so minus x minus 2x is less than shift the 3 to the other side minus 3 minus 3 because it was three positive here when you shift it will be minus so minus x minus 2x will be negative 3x because it's like minus 1 minus 2 which will be negative 3 don't forget is less than here also negative 6 because both minus means you will add them then the negative remains then divide both sides by negative 3 then the x value the inequality now changes greater than 2 so the answer is found in a the next one it says uh, if a total number of students in a class is in 1995 and the ratio okay if a total number of students in a school is 1995 okay 1995 total number of students and the ratio of male to female is 4 to 3. That means you can give them xx. This time, the ratio of male to female. This one is male to female. Then the number of female. So we got to do here now. 4x plus 3x. The total number is given already. 1995. So add it. 7x is equal to 1995. Then divide by 7. So the x value will be when you divide into take care. 1995 divided by 7. Cut from here 2 times 14. The remainder here will be 5. Bring it to 9. It will be 8 times 56. The remainder here 3. Bring the 5 again. It will be 5 times. So 285. We are done. We are done what? On the x value. We are not uh, done on what's asked. What's asked is the female. The female is which one? 3x. So the female is equal to the female is already 3x. That means 3 times what's x? 285. So we need, we need to multiply. Okay, let's do that one. 285. Okay, 285 multiplied by 3. Uh, 15, you have 1. 24 plus 1, 25. Again, 2, you have 6, 8. 855. This is 5. When you multiply, you need to take care and try to make it faster. So the answer is A. Next. The next question it says when 12 is subtracted from a number. Again, this number we don't know. Let's say it's P. When 12 is subtracted from the number. That means P minus 12. 
then what? The result is 20% of the number. It's the same as 20% of the number is already P. So what is the number? We need to find the P. That means P minus 12 is equal to 20% of uh, P means 20 over 100 times P. You can cut the zero here. And you can even simplify still. By 2, 1 is by 2, 5. So we can do it here. P minus 12 is equal to uh, P over 5. You see, because by 2, 1 is by 2, 5. P over 5 left. Then crisscross. 5 times P will be 5P. Minus 5 times 12 will be 60. Is equal to P, sir. Bring the P. 5P minus P is equal to 60. The 60 goes. And wait a minute here. Way of writing. 5P minus P. The difference is 4P is equal to 60. Then what will be the P value? When you divide by 4 both sides, it will be 1, 5. Yeah. So the answer will be B. Okay. The next question. Abebe bought a cycle for Burr 6250 and sold 20% profit. How might the cycle sold? Okay. This is a cost price. He got 20% profit. So how much the cycle sold means? We need to calculate 20% of this money. So 20% of 6250. First we have to calculate this result. And then we'll add the result on the uh, cost price. Because he sold it 20% profit, not loss. Profit means more. Okay, so that 20 over 100 will be multiplied with 6250. Then cut one zero here, again one zero here, and multiply two times. This result will be, you know, two times five, ten, you have one, and two times two, four plus one, five. Again, two times six is twelve. So we can write this one, it will be twelve here. This is the result. 1250 added when he said it. Therefore, the selling price will be the cost price, 6250 plus uh, the profit. The profit is 1250. When you add it, it will be how much? 0, 0, 1, 5, and 7. 7,500. He sold it by this much money. So these are some of the selected problems in my first video of the current year grade 8 national exam. I will continue solving the other questions. Don't forget to subscribe, share to your friends. Thank you for watching.